welcome to a new video. So, as you can see, I have an aqua bag. Why? Because I love hitting this thing. And if you're stressed out, you need something to hit. Instead of hitting your girlfriend or wife, <laughs> why don't you hit something that's inanimate, like an aqua bag? Now, I'm going to tell you why I recommend getting an aqua bag versus a traditional punching bag, which I have over here in the corner. It's for this reason alone. Do you hear that? Now, you can hear this. Right? Sounds like a basketball, right? Bouncing off the floor. But if I use my knuckles, you don't really hear much. Now, mind you, this is a very, very hard surface. Now, there are specifically made aqua bags for boxing that you've seen online, right? Those are like about double, more than double the price of this one. This is a, just a basic buoy, buoy used in boating. So what they do is they use these as like bumper plates between a dock and a boat in the water. Not used for boxing traditionally. And you can tell why because of the hard surface, okay? Can you hear that? Yeah, it's that hard. Very hard. So. This I've been hitting with my knuckles, bare knuckles, for quite a long time. I've hardened my knuckles so much so that I can hit this without really feeling any pain. Now, I'm going to show you how to set it up in your room because I looked online and I, I saw other people try to set up their, their aqua bags or punching bags at home. And I didn't agree with a lot of other people, what other people did, because it just took too many steps and it takes too many... Uh, too much equipment, too much space. I want to minimize as much equipment as possible when setting this bad boy up. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna need an aqua bag or a buoy, okay? I'll put a link below towards the one I got. This is a, an 18, 18, 18 inch diameter buoy. And the weight is about, about 150 pounds filled up with water, the brim. And it comes in red, yellow, dark blue, white, but I like the white. The setup itself, take a look. So as you can see, that's my ceiling. Now, take a look. Do you see those, uh, those dots up on the ceiling? This is the first thing you're gonna need, okay? You're gonna need this. This is a magnet, okay? This magnet is a very strong magnet. I got links to this below. Don't worry. You use this to find the studs on your ceiling. So you just place them on the ceiling and then magic, it will latch on to a metal stud. And it shows where the actual beam is on my roof, on my ceiling. You can see it, right? It's right there, going that way. So what I did next was drill two holes with a drill bit. Then I uh, screwed in that thing that you see up there. That thing that you see up there is a heavy duty uh, thingamajiggy that holds swings, it holds uh, gymnastics rings, it holds pretty much anything that you can hang on on your roof, okay? So you're gonna need one of those. You need a heavy duty, okay? Don't go cheap. I put, don't worry, I put the links down below towards uh, everything that I, I'm using here for setup. The great thing about this actual uh, holder is that it swivels. So I can swivel this bag or my heavy bag if I want to set that up, and the thing swivels, okay, without making noise. Like, ee, ee, ee. It doesn't make that noise, like other uh, setups do. So after that, I got some rope, tied some rope to it. What you see up there, that black thing, is a, is a spring, okay? You're going to need a spring because it absorbs the shock of your heavy bag, okay? Because when you hit the heavy bag, it's going to wiggle and jiggle around, it's bouncing up and down. Do you see that? It's juggling up, especially when you do uppercuts. You see it bouncing up and down? The spring is absorbing all of that shock that you see. Make sure you get that spring. And then the final component is this. This is a gymnastic strap, okay? Gymnastic strap and another tie strap, okay, that I tied. And you notice some people, they use chains to, to hook their, their aqua bags through here up to whatever. I, you don't need chains, okay? Chains, they corrode, you need to maintain them 
you can just get straps, okay? Gymnastic straps that I use, okay? And the great thing about this setup is there's no noise. There's no noise when I hit this thing. All you can hear is the water sloshing around in the bag itself. When you hit the leather heavy bag, you get the thunk, thunk, whack, 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 whack. And if you want to practice late at night, like I do, I practice really late at night as well. I just hit this thing. You don't want to hear all that noise. You don't want to disturb your neighbors. So you can just practice your form bare fisted. Okay? Again, it's going to take some time for your knuckles and your bones and your skin to get used to this this kind of surface, but it's more rewarding, it's more realistic, okay? When you punch somebody, they're not made of leather. They're mostly made of water. So get used to working your combinations. Yeah, if you have gloves, use them, okay? So you can... Go hard as you want, but you're gonna hear that thud when you have this making contact with this, right? But it's not as loud as me hitting another heavy bag, okay? That's even back, right? And so you don't want that going on, disturbing your neighbors. I recommend not using chains. Don't use steel chains. That shimmering sound is just fake, okay? That's not generated by you, it's generated by the chain, okay? So it doesn't make you a harder puncher when you hear chains rattling all through the night, okay? So use gymnastic straps is what I recommend. I go in and out of this room hitting this thing all the time. It's right in the middle, smack dab my room. And I, when I go in and out like this, it's right in my face, so I practice every day. I hit this every day, right? You don't have to hit it hard. You can start with just little thumps, okay? You don't need to punch with your ego. Hit it to your heart's content. That's my tip for today. Uh, if you want links to all the products that I use to set this guy up, uh, the links are down below, okay? And ask me any questions you want for the next video, okay? Take care. And bye!